just checking. No mobs climbing close. Hello and uh, welcome to a short uh, um, pre pre thing pre thingy. Now I have standing water on the other side of this this dispenser. Uh, I'm trying to do a transport system. Uh, of course, I can always carry my stuff. That's always an option. But since I'm hoping that I will do a lot of mining down here and not going upstairs more to, well, I don't know. If you mine, you don't sleep, you don't do anything, you just mine. I have everything down here that I will probably need and I will make more iron out of whatever I find. But the stuff, I mean, when I fill this one, I have to go up and empty it upstairs. So I was watching a video about doing a tube transport pipe sort of with water. Now we have this idea that floating water, it just floats with, with it. And standing water, it goes to the top. Uh, thanks to the floating thing in the standing water, we can actually use this, I hope. <laughs> I don't know, I have no idea. That's why I'm pre-recording this. If I shoot something into the standing water, it will rise to the top. And if I'm not totally sure, <laughs> um, the... Um, um, what the hmm is it called again? Well, oh dear. Well, it's way up there anyway. Um, the hopper. The hopper up there is going to suck the things out of the water and later on it will then get it into another dispenser who is going to shoot it into floating water and then we get the uh, horizontal version. But the ver vertical version I've never tried. So we are going to do this. We are going to put this one in. And it's gone. So this is just something that I'm trying. Now, I don't know if I can do everybody. No, I can only do it one second. Now, I'm going to do a timer on this, of course. There. Now it's gone. Let's go upstairs and see if it has floated up through the standing water. And yes, for those of you who are <laughs> thinking ahead, this uh, build will probably take more time than um, carrying all the stuff <laughs> up. Uh, well, at least two or three chests. But this is like Bongo does it. So let's try it. This is vanilla. You never know. Now, according to my plan, it should be coming up here. And get into the hopper it has not come up as yet so perhaps it's all wrong oh no something is coming up something is coming up oh and I took it of course I did <laughs> I was closest. Now, I don't know if this is going to take it. Or not. It doesn't take it. Do it require to look downwards? Something like that. Well, of course, I did everything wrong. Part two of the transport system is, of course, to make sure that the hopper takes the items and it does not suck them up. It takes them from top. So what I've done is I've been doing moving water to put it on top of the hopper. It will then move it over here and now it will suck down and put it inside here hopefully now I have been moving a lot of stuff 
I have no idea where it is at the moment, but it will be rising up through the standing water, hopefully, and then it will go up there, hopefully. Uh, we'll see. Uh, it takes some time, of course, but still. This is one way of doing it. Now, I'm not going to put everything in a chest. I'm hoping to have a dispenser. And when the dispenser feels like, oh, I have something, I need to shoot it out, then it will send a redstone signal to itself, and then <laughs> it will spit it out. And then we will have moving water going horizontally up to a point, and then it will take another hopper, uh, to take that one or whatever I'm going to do or if I'm just going to do a dispense the thing I'm not totally sure um, but I want stuff oh here it is <laughs> everything is in here 12 pieces of stuff and it's up here so now we have the vertical finished thank you thanks for all the stuff that I wanted so that works now we have to take care of this part and I want to have now I'm not totally sure I might might be able to ha or have to do some standing water racing up uh, going downwards because we'll see but I want to have a couple of chests a double chest here that I will go and then put out up there or in here sorting it of course I can build a sorting machine um, Bongo has shown me and I've used it we used it in who shot Sam and we all and I also used it in the journey but <laughs> now that is a bit over the top at the moment because it's all about just making sure that the cobblestone gets up there sooner or later and all the other stuff is getting in here sooner or later. So I'm not really that bothered with all this stuff. Now let's see. This is just extra, extra, extra all. <laughs> I just put everything in here. Let's see. That one could be in here. Uh, no, not that one. Um, and I also need some um, cobble to make, uh, well, like the dispenser or something like that. Well, now you saw uh, that the vertical is finished, so now I can focus on trying to get that stuff moving directly. I don't need a hopper to do that. But I also know that, and again, I think this is Bongo, or if it's Scoffet, not totally sure, probably Bongo. Uh, making sure that uh, items go upwards from dispenser to dispenser or was it a dropper <laughs> i don't remember <laughs> well uh, that's that i'll be back with more right time for the last bit of the transportation system and of course we are going to use redstone circuits and we are going to do it like this um, when I put stuff in this one it will transcend into the this is the dispenser I should probably have used a dropper but it's a dispenser so okay if you have arrows you will lose them so no arrows in this one or splash potions or anything that means that the comparator is feeling oh there is something I send a redstone signal which of course will put this redstone on which will put this block on which will tell the dispenser to shoot and then it's going to go around now delay as a loop we have this this block is on this block this redstone is on this block is on that means that the repeater has on which though goes back to this one and if he doesn't send a signal to this, this won't sing, send a signal, and so on. So these are. This is the clock. As long as this one sends a, a signal, this one will also send the signal. 
I'll bite a bit um, smaller, but it will send the signal. So, this will work. Now, I can put anything. I've already put in some stuff. So, let's just send those strings away. And three clicks later, they are up in the water. And that part we know works. <laughs> now, up at the horizontal transport system, I, I got a problem with water all over the place. Uh, we have still the same clock and all that, so that's not even to bother about. Four blocks, as you can see. I put them uh, mirror-wise, but nevertheless. So, when the water, when, when the dropper hits this one, the hopper sends into this dropper, this dropper sends away, got a signal back, can send again, yes, can send again. But it will also send this dropper going. So here's water flowing. He will put it into that water, flow it over to the next part, to the next part and so on. But the last one that he has in this one is not going to continue. So let's put in these as one. We have 18 clicks and we will probably meet them up there later on. And this is the top. Now I've just put up some walls over here because I feel like we should have complete blocks. Um, there is some things about that. The dirt that I put up is not up here yet. In here we have one of the strings we sent. The other two has been sent away. Now I had to cover this one because they were going all the places. Uh, the droppers actually just drops in it. Oh, there. here we have it. The dirt has arrived. Oh yes. And is now shooting its way through. So I'm covering these. Now I have it open at the moment because we want to see what's going on. But since it's now going as you can see, slowly transporting everything, even in this corner, water's transporting it, it's clicking all over the place. And as you can see, I have three afterwards. Now in this, there will be dirt because that's the last thing we sent. And it will be dirt in everything because we had 18 dirt. So each and every one is now one dirt, uh, eighth of them. So we only have ten dirt left, I suspect. And this is the end. Here they come into this one. It was no use trying to get the water one more step. It's easier to just put another hopper in. And because I'm thinking about having a lot of stuff coming this way, I just made a double chest and uh, we have 18, we have all three strings, these are probably old dirt, and we have the five flint that I sent before. So, there we have it, the complete system, uh, it works, uh, and in, oh no, down here, <laughs> you probably can't see it, in here we have each and every of these uh, clocks and stuff behind that. The hopper gets the item, sends it into this dropper, that sends it up to the next dropper. This one is uh, pointing upwards, of course. And all these, the ones that we see, are that. Uh, we do have a bit of a problem with spawning mobs down here, so that's why I have a lot of stuff. Now I can't get any further. But, um, well... It works, and that means that I have a transportation system without mod packs or anything. Just water, hoppers, droppers, and um, some redstone circuit. Very nice indeed. Now I can go down and <laughs> mine. I haven't been able. It took me all day, but it wasn't able before that. Okay, um, thank you for watching this. 
see you again with something new, but now I'm going to mine, mine, mine. Bye!